Hello guys, what's going on? Lewis Ben here and we are back with another Clash Clans video and in today's video guys we have an awesome video about the Electro Dragons. Now I did just unlock these a couple hours ago and I realised they take so long to train guys. Currently I'm boosting my barracks and the next army is going to take 59 minutes to train. So it's pretty insane because I only have one barracks which can actually train the Electro Dragons. They take 24 minutes per Electro Dragon which is insane. And that is pretty mad, but we are going to be boosting them. We're going to be doing two attacks with them and we're going to be seeing if we can do some damage inside a multiplayer battle. So let's go ahead and grab a screenshot of these real quick, just for a thumbnail if we need it later on. Let's do one more right there and then we should be good. So yeah, guys, we did just win a war. It was a GGWL war and it was pretty awesome, guys. We managed to get the win really close. We had some Electro Dragon attacks and we had so many 10v10 attacks. Which I'm going to be bringing to you in a video in the future guys. So stay tuned for that. Probably going to be coming out tomorrow. But for right now we're going to be doing an Electro Dragon video. And seeing if we can do some damage. So we have our army trained up. Let's go ahead and just take this. I don't know what this is. And let's see. So our army is 2 archers, 10 balloons, 2 wave dragons, 6 Electro Dragons, 4 minions. Then we have 3 rage spells, 4 free spells, 1 poison spell, 1 haste spell and lava loon in the CC. We also have our heroes up. So let's go ahead and search for a raid and let's just talk about how these dragons are going to be used. So I believe these dragons are used exactly like normal dragons are used pretty much. The only difference is obviously they do splash on 5 different buildings at once. So you kind of have to place them slightly different and I believe these dragons are a lot stronger than normal dragons. They just do take up a little more space, which is kind of annoying, but if they didn't take any more space, it would be quite overpowered. These dragons are really good for cleanup because they hit five buttons at once. They're really good for percentage because, again, they hit five buttons at once. And especially for funneling because they are really strong and they do quite a lot of damage to multiple buildings. So, let's go ahead and search our raid here and I'll be back for you once you find one. So guys, we've landed on this base. Now, I know it doesn't have a ton of loot. But it does have multi-target Inferno Towers and the Eagle Artillery is down. So I want to try and take down the space, see if we can do some damage. Because this is one of my first times actually using them. So let's start off with a Electro Dragon over here. Do some damage to these builders. I believe it's going to take down all three builders at once. Okay, not too bad there. It's going to take down the builders here. Let's go with another e drag up the top and the Bay Dragon to follow right here. So hopefully this air defense can't reach it, which doesn't look like it can. Awesome, this Electro Dragon is doing a ton of damage. And let's go ahead and drop another Bay Dragon over here. So e drags going to die and it is going to spawn the Lightning. There we go guys, doing a little bit of damage there to the Gold Collector, not too bad. Let's go ahead with a Lava Loon in the middle and all our Baby Dragons, all our Electro Dragons sorry, behind with one Haste Spell and a Rage Spell. Now the problem is with these Electro Dragons, they are really slow guys. So if you want to try and get to Single Titan Infernos, you're going to even need to haste the Electro Dragons. Or you're going to need to actually freeze the single target Inferno Towers. Which is why I have four freeze spells in this attack. That was a horrible freeze spell there. I did not mean to place it there. I meant to freeze a multi target Inferno. But it looks like we managed to miss that one up. So let's see. Can we take down this air defense? I'm going to go ahead and freeze both of these. Let's see. Wow, I'm terrible with freezes, guys. The adjustment on the, the freeze spell size really throws me off. To see if we can freeze it here. Okay, so there we go. We did freeze both. So it was just me being terrible in the first free spell right there. Wow, we're getting a ton of damage with these Electro Dragons. Doesn't look like we are doing that great, but they are doing a ton of damage as well. And I don't think we're going to need the poison here. Hopefully we can take down the Expo, because that is going to do a lot of damage when we send in our heroes. One Electro Dragon left alive now, no air defenses. We're going to need our heroes for this one, guys, to try and grab a free star. Can we at least take down the Expo? Doesn't look like we're going to get it. Actually, we have a backup Electro Dragon over here. Max hit points on that one as well. This is looking pretty decent, guys. Can we take down the Expo? Okay, it's not going to go for the Expo now. And it doesn't look like it's going to go for the Expo. It's locked on the King. Let's send in the Queen to try and help. And speed the Electro Dragon along. There it goes. Can we get the Expo? We need the Expos to go down in order to free start. And it's not going down. Okay, let's send in our King in front to try and tank. And the Queen's going to walk in front because the Queen is really smart. And here comes the CC. So we're not going to get this one. Let's just end it here, guys. Not going to be a free star. CC did come out. There's still a loads of expos up. But we did do a nice job there. Not too bad. 
So I need to learn how to use freezes better because I believe they did reduce the radius that you can actually place a freeze bow. So we are going to need to work on them freeze bows because I am not used to the radius that you can actually place them. And guys, our army is going to take one hour and nine minutes to train up. And it says in here 53 minutes, not too sure what it means up there. But it looks like we are going to go ahead and request in two minutes. Then we're going to jam the army and I'll be back for you once we're ready. Okay guys, so I've adjusted the army slightly. I'm going for a more Lalo approach in this one because I want to deploy the electrodragons behind the Lava Hounds and the balloons and see if they can do some damage. Because obviously they can't hit five balloons at once, they can hit quite far away from them. So hopefully they can do some damage from behind. So let's go ahead and go into an attack. Okay guys, so we have landed this base, has one air defense down, one expo down, and isn't too strong defense, but we're gonna give it a go either way. Let's come in from the top with a siege machine just to break through the walls. I'm not too much sure in there. Okay, an electro dragon. I didn't mean to deploy that. Oh my, I thought, well, I thought when you click off it, it doesn't deploy it, but apparently it does. So, not a good start for us here, guys. Hopefully, the elephants can't reach the electro dragon. This isn't good. Okay, so hopefully, the electro dragon can take on the elephants. Please, nope, not gonna do it. Okay, so terrible start here. Let's send in a couple balloon. No, that's not going to work. Le I'm not too sure what we do here, guys. My plan was to break through the wall and grab these air defenses, but apparently we're not going to be doing that. We might be able to grab one with the queen. There we go. And that's about it, I believe. That's pretty unlucky there. We just used our one max electro dragon to do literally nothing in the raid. So, where do we want to start this? There's obviously traps on here, so let's go ahead and deploy a couple of minions. Couple of balloons to get the air mine. Wow, there's no traps down there. Okay, so I'm not sure where traps are. Let's come in with a laloon from the right hand side of here. Let's drop some balloons on the arch tower. And here we don't have any haste spells. I probably should have swapped out the spells for this one, but unfortunately I didn't. Let's go with an early rage spell. Freeze out the single target inferno to try and keep Lovehead alive. And let's go with some electro dragons behind. Just try and do some damage. Again, another rage spell up here. And let's go have a heal spell down here. Freeze the single target inferno. And the wizard tower. That's not looking too bad. And let's see. How's it going? So, rage spell down the bottom. Let's use our grand wand ability in a moment. Let's go ahead. Freeze that air sweeper to try and get the balloons moving along. And the grand wand needs to hurry up a little bit. Again, freeze the air sweeper again. This is actually looking pretty good, guys. We might be able to grab a freeze tower. Two balloons over here. Drop them on the arch tower. And we have two lava hounds left up. One of them pops. And uh, not too sure where the other one is. We need the other one to pop. Single target inferno is going to go down. That's awesome. And we have two electro dragons left up with the Grand Warden ability. Let's see. We also have a poison spell. Going to just randomly poison there. Just in case we need it. Not too sure why. Don't really have to use it. But we'll just use it for the swag. Going to pop the Grand Warden's ability right now. Hopefully we don't get hit by any air mines. And it looks like we're going to be grabbing a free star. So... After that fail in the beginning of the raid, somehow we managed to pull through and get a free star, so that's pretty awesome. There we go, guys. Going to be getting a free star in a couple of seconds. Electro Dragon doing the splash. So much damage from them, and we do survive. In my opinion, guys, the Electro Dragons are the coolest looking troop in the game. Let me know, guys, what is the coolest looking troop in the game from your point of view. Let me know down below, and that'll be pretty awesome to hear. So, hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, make sure to smash the like button and turn on notifications for more cool uploads. And we did just match <laughs> we did just match a really good clan guys. Which I'm also gonna be doing a recap on in the future. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. And like I said, turn on notifications for more daily uploads. See you next time guys. Peace out.